Hi, Tracy here with Mom Life Today, and we are with Sally Lloyd-Jones, and it's nice to have you here. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you for having me. And if you recognize that name, it's probably because you have the Jesus Storybook Bible, and you wrote the Jesus Storybook Bible. Yes. Yes, and I know you're getting lots of feedback from parents. Yes. as to how they are able to um, bless their entire home mm -hmm. with the Jesus Storybook Bible. So what are parents telling you about their experience? Well, they're finding that um, it's actually a Bible that children want to read and they're begging for it, which is a wonderful thing to hear. Right. But the other thing I keep hearing is, which I feel slightly guilty about, is that the parents keep telling me they can't finish the, the stories without crying. Oh. <laughs> I, but as, what I think is, as long as it's not the children crying, I think the that, that what that is really telling you is that God's love that comes through the simplicity mm. and the distilling down of the message is what's getting parents' hearts. Because I think sometimes we get so complicated, we miss the fact mm. that the Bible is a love story. And right. I think by pointing to Jesus in every story, the parents get moved. Right. And the children are just caught up in the story. So that's the perfect. You don't want the children crying. Right. That would be awful. So some, well, sometimes you think, you know, in, in sharing a book with a child, it's all just for the child. And so what you're teaching us is the way you have written this, it's for the parents as much yes. as the children. Well, I love that. And I don't think I intended to do that particularly, except now that I realize, about, now that I think about it, the more you respect children mm. and the more you Give, you're on their same level and you respect them and you give them excellence, mm -hmm. then of course it will reach everyone. Right. But if we dumb it down and we patronize children, then the children are going to put up with it because they have to, but you're going to lose everyone else right. who, who has a choice. You know? Well, I just want to tell you that I knew of your book, but when I really got to know your book, I have a daughter who's 20 years old wow. and she's in college and wow. she and her roommate last year every night before they would go oh, to bed, they would read the Jesus Storybook Bible that out loud so to each happy. other. That's and isn't wonderful. that beautiful? Yeah. These 20 year old girls in college. I and know. that's not who you were thinking no. of when you wrote that. And but I just, just, yeah, just that's like what the God's doing. Yeah. yeah. And it's wonderful to hear that because you realize we all of us are still children mm -hmm. when it comes to God, aren't we? And right. I think sometimes that a children's book like this it dignifies children, and children become the ones that lead us. Right. You know, by reading to a child, we're the ones getting taught. And I love that. There's something that I'm sure God must be pleased with when, when a, child, a child leads us, you know? Right, because right. Because we need to always be like children. Right. That way. Right. Well, God bless you for the Jesus Storybook well, Bible you. and what he's doing in real lives through it. And I hope you'll go out and find a copy and start reading it in your home. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Mom Life Today.